High above Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California, you'll find the KTLA Tower glowing day and night. See, back in the radio days when television was just an experiment, television station KTLA went on the air in 1947. In fact, it was the first commercial television station west of the Mississippi. 1949, little Kathy Fiscus fell into an open well in a field in San Marino. Right behind the rescue workers to the scene were news crews from KTLA broadcasting to the small but growing LA television audience. And on hand to relate the drama as it developed, reporter Stan Chambers. So we went out there. It was underway, it'd been underway for several hours. Big open field, a couple of holes in the ground. Newsman Stan Chambers spent 63 years working right here at KTLA. 63 years back, they did not have toys like the Big Beast here, a satellite truck that can go anywhere in the country and do a live report. They had to literally make up the craft of live television coverage as they went along. Here in your living room, you're watching this little girl hoping to save her life. And we were on long enough so it applied to everybody whether he had a television set or not. Now unfortunately that little girl didn't make it, but after the Kathy Fiscus story, Live television coverage in America was never the same again. Today, KTLA is a high-def digital television station reaching the entire country on satellite and millions here in Los Angeles and the surrounding area. A snapshot of the story of a missing eight-year-old boy who spent the night alone in the San Bernardino National Forest. His parents express relief with an emotional embrace when they find out their son is found safe. Joshua Robb was released from the hospital a short time ago, but he didn't go home with his parents. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin, KTLA's... At the heart of KTLA is a huge news operation. Most days, there's more than eight hours of live news coverage eight hours starting before the sun comes up at 4.30 a.m. with the groundbreaking KTLA morning news that's been on the air for more than 20 years. Here's our current morning news team to tell you more. Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Pereira and we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of the KTLA morning news. 20 years, two decades, here's the math. 7,300 wow. days, Southern Californians have been going, wait, that show is still on? It started out as very serious, program. I remember the first day we were on the air, I, I did a roundup of all the shootings that had taken place. Yeah, it wasn't the most captivating newscast around. They were going to cancel the show. You're all going to get fired anyway. You might as well do whatever you want. All of a sudden, one day during a commercial break, uh, we were starting to laugh. We were going, oh my gosh, we're not going to be here for another week or so. And I go on record just saying that I love Barbara's jacket. I, I, you know, I just made that comment. It was a cheap joke, and I'm writing my own hate mail right now. <laughs> own hate mail. So I'm saving you the time. I'm writing, gee, if you want to see a clown, look in the mirror. And I'm writing all the lines that you folks would. I love the jacket. It's very nice. And it lightened up a lot. <laughs> we do not put on these ridiculous shirts and run around for our health. Then all of a sudden, everybody had the freedom to kind of loosen up. Ratings started to click and people started to find us and they said, wow, this is really refreshing. I'm Frank Buckley and I'm co-anchor of the KTLA Morning News. Uh, and it became famous for taking on the Today Show, Good Morning America and CBS and really becoming number one in a local market uh, in a way that no one else had done before. I'm a hard news guy at heart. I came from a place like CNN where you were told not to show your emotions at all. And on this program, it's all about the word that we use these days is authenticity. Being yourself. People want that. They want you to be yourself, tell them the news, be serious when that's required, but have a laugh when that's appropriate. And that's what we do. Just look at this hallway. It tells the story of KTLA's groundbreaking news coverage. This is the telecopter station, KTLA Channel 5, Los Angeles. And of course, the station's won countless awards through the years. And uh, let's just barge in on these guys here. You know Jason, Angel, Kimberly? I just wanted to show you all these awards she has up here. So many Emmys, she doesn't even know what to do with them all, including one for my coverage of the war in Iraq. In 2010, KTLA sent me to cover the last days of Operation Iraqi Freedom. We traveled all over the country for one month, dodging terrorist attacks and sending home unforgettable stories. 20 live reports from some areas that could never be covered live without the latest in digital broadcasts. 
VHS gear. KTLA has always been on the cutting edge. Remember this VHS videotape that changed the world? The Rodney King beating video was the match that set this racially divided city on fire beginning in 1991 when the tape came out and then in 1992 when the riots began. KTLA was the first television station to air the tape. Again, Stan Chambers. Some of you may find this very disturbing. I say that to warn you before you look at it. When those officers were acquitted, large parts of the city erupted in anger against the LAPD. Many people died and neighborhoods were burnt to the ground. Two car fires just broke out here at the corner of Normandy and Florence, uh, right in the uh, parking area of that liquor store. It was a, a tragedy very serious event but it was a part of our of our whole lifestyle a part of our community so that when it happened and you have video it's your responsibility to share this with those who were her watching. Today, news breaks faster than ever, especially when you have a state-of-the-art, high-def chopper in the sky every day. In fact, something's breaking right now. Eric Spillman is in the newsroom. There's been a bomb threat at San Clemente High School. There was a soldier who failed to report to duty. Inside their home, they found a notebook filled with writings indicated he put a bunch of bombs in the, in the school. That is the update from over San Clemente High School. Eric, I'll send it back to you. That's how it happens. Live breaking news happening all the time in a city where you have millions of people living in the Southern California area. KTLA does all the serious stuff, but we also have our fun as well. I remember thinking, KTLA, this place is wide open. That broadcast is a little weird. We kind of set a standard, and suddenly we're, we're watching our show, and then we look over at some of the other networks, and suddenly they were doing things that we were doing. We're not going to bother anybody. We're just trying to get somebody's opinions on oh, the show. Oh, they're getting the walkie-talkies out. Oh. And now when you watch um, the Today Show, the Good Morning America, you know, all those shows, they basically are our format, which is really exciting and one of the reasons I'm very proud to be at KTLA. I'm telling you, there's nothing like working here. Los Angeles is a very exciting city, and KTLA has been there to go through it all. Since 1947, when it started out as an experiment, we are still breaking ground every single day. KTLA, Channel 5, Los Angeles.